Hello friends, in this video, we are solving invalid data safety form issues on Google Play Console. So let's start to fill up the form. First, open your Google Play Console account and go to Monitor and Improve section and click Policy and Programs and click App Content. You will see Data Safety in Action tab. Click Manage. After read all information, click Next. You will see Data Collection and Security section. Select Yes. Because you used Google Ads or Unity Ads in your app and it is automatically collect data. In this option, select Yes. Now this selection is based on your app. If your app has login authentication, then select this all checkboxes. But my app is simple app and it does not allow to create account. Inside this option, select No. Do user delete data itself? The answer is No, but data will automatically delete it. Then click next button. Approximate location gives a general idea of where the user is like city or region. Google Ads collect this location. So select this option. If you have location functionality in your app, then also select precise location. It will give users exact location. If you are collecting any personal information of users, so select this options as per your functionality, otherwise leave it. If you have financial related app, then select this options. If you implement any health and fitness based app, then select it. If you add any email, send SMS functionality, then select these checkboxes. If you have photo editor and video editor type app, then select this. If your app collecting audio files like music gallery app, then select it. If your app use a document files and some other files, then select the option. If you have calendar app, then select it. If you are sharing any contacts or use contacts in your app, select this option. Select app interactions because Google Ads or Unity Ads are collecting ads. Click event for better analytics. Select other option if you collect user search history in app. If you collect web browsing data, then select it. If you are using any type of analytics in your app, then select crash logs option. If you collect percentage of battery or other data, then select diagnostic option. Now last you have to definitely select device or other IDs option because ads mob automatically collect device ID. If you have very simple app, then you have to check device or other IDS, app interactions and approximate location options compulsory. Now click next. In data usage and handling section, click start on approximate location. So when you get to the question, is this data collected, shared or both? You should select collected, shared. This means Google Ads automatically collecting this data for use in analytics or targeted advertising and that data may also be shared with third parties like ad networks. Is this data processed ephemerally? The correct choice is no. This collected data is not processed ephemerally. This means that the data you collect is stored and processed over a longer period of time instead of being temporarily used and then discarded. Is this data required for your app or can users choose whether it's collected? The answer should be data collection is required. This means that this data collection is essential for your app's functionality and users do not have the option to opt out. Why is this user data collected? App functionality helps the app work properly. For example, if you're using a music app, it needs data to play music and let you pause or skip songs. Analytics tracks how you use the app to make it better. For example, it can tell the app which features you use the most, like if you always play music but rarely use the search function. Developer communications is for sending messages to users like app updates or notifications. For example, if the app sends you a message saying new update available, that's developer communication. Advertising or marketing helps show ads that might interest you. For example, if you've been looking at fitness videos, you might see ads for gym equipment. Fraud prevention, security and compliance keeps the app safe and follows the rules. For example, if someone tries to hack your account, the app uses data to stop them. Personalization makes the app experience unique to you. For example, if you use a shopping app, it will show you clothes you might like based on what you've bought before. Account management helps manage your account and login. 
For example, when you sign into your email, it stores your login info. Why is this user data shared? First, analytics. Data is shared with analytics tools to understand how users are interacting with the app. For example, if lots of users are having trouble finding a specific feature, developers can improve it based on this data. Second, advertising or marketing. Data is shared with ad networks like Google Ads or Unity Ads to show users ads that match their interests. So if you've been looking for fitness products, you might see ads for gym equipment. Now save it. Click to App Interactions and start to select same options which you selected in approximate location. and save it. Now click device or other IDs options. Same steps follow in this section as you selected earlier. Save it and click next. Check this all information because this is the preview of data safety section which will show in Google Play Store. Every user can see this and click Save. That's it for today. I am 100% sure that it will help you to approve your app. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video and subscribe my channel.